So these kind of videos that I'm doing right now, they're unprepared, so I'm not really scripting or anything. I'm just literally sitting in front of the camera, hitting record. Sometimes I have a few notes with maybe the name of the person I'm talking about, if I'm talking about someone and a couple of things. So just maybe thinking, why am I creating this video? Why am I talking about this? Just to make sure I cover the point that I want to cover, but I'm not doing anything else. It's not polish or anything like that. My name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer and this channel is all about creativity, the design process and just basically sharing my journey as a graphic designer. So today I wanted to share something that I have listened uh, on a podcast and something that I've been thinking about for a while and this podcast was by Connor Fowler and interviewing Alex Aperius. I don't know how to pronounce it but I I'll leave the link to the podcast on the, on the information box. So on the podcast they were talking about uh, Alex's uh, career as a web designer and kind of everything that has changed over the years in terms of sharing content online, getting new clients and things like that. And it was very interesting because at one point uh, Connor said something like uh, how important it is to share the process and to document everything you're doing. Um, I guess in order not to just share the final product or of a logo or a website when you are working on something, but to also share the initial stages and, and you know, the sketches. And uh, I think some designers, like for example myself, I love to see how other designers are working. I don't really care that much about the final product, although of course you enjoy seeing a, a nice design, but at the end of the day it's not about that. So I'm, I've... I have found myself following many uh, people or Instagram accounts that are sharing more of the process itself. And one of the the things that Connor said on this podcast was something like, um, how can you document your journey? How can you record all these steps, all this design process and put it in a consumable way? So when I started just kind of recording this type of videos, I was thinking I want to document my journey. I want to do it in a way that people can watch it and actually learn something or get something out of it. But I don't want to put pressure on myself of having to create a video that is, you know, like very polished and very, I don't know, like those videos you see that uh, 10 steps to be a better designer or something like that. I don't want to do something like that because that would mean I have to script it and I have to think about it and I have to, you know, maybe put more work into it and then this kind of video changes a lot. So literally I just came through the door, sat, put on the camera and I'm recording this, which is the the journey documentation. So this is something I've learned and I'm just sharing it in case it helps someone else. And it's also kind of good to validate um, when you have an idea, it's good to validate it. So listening to this podcast, I kind of validated my idea of documenting my journey. And one of the tips they said uh, I think they took it from from Chris Do. I think they they mentioned, um, which is another very famous designer. In case you don't know him, uh, the tip they said, which I believe it was from him, is to record your computer screen every time you are working on a project. Um, I guess this depends on the project you are working on. If it's um, if it's for a client and you have signed some kind of uh, privacy or non-disclosure agreement then you probably don't have to do this but if you're working on a, a personal project or even if you're creating content which is a different thing to document in the journey you're creating content for yourself to, uh, to practice to put on social media maybe record the screen doing all the process even the boring parts so I think Connor was mentioning uh, recording the screen while he was looking for pictures on Unsplash or, or Pinterest or things like that. So just record the whole thing and then try to put it in a way that is easy to to consume in a way. So um, I guess at that point when you have all this archive of, of, um, of the process, you can probably create something nice with it. So maybe a video explaining your process or maybe just short clips for for Instagram, things like that. So I just listened to this podcast um, like literally 10 minutes ago and 
something I've been doing for a couple of days now is I'm trying to build this uh, morning routine which involves yoga, some exercise, but it also involves drawing or uh, just doing anything with pen and paper. So drawing, lettering, anything that I can think of to kind of um, stay away from the computer, uh, but also practice and, and, you know, be a bit creative in the mornings. So I've been recording with my phone, just literally, uh, my phone is always, um, the Wi-Fi is disconnected when I wake up in the morning. So I'm just putting the camera, the time-lapse option of the camera, and just recording what I'm doing. And it's nothing, I mean, literally, I'm, I'm just going to put it here on the screen. It's nothing really to to be proud of. Um, but at the same time, I really feel proud of doing this and being able to just record with the camera. I don't care about the quality. I don't care about the quality of the video and the quality of what I'm producing. I just care about me practicing and me doing these sketches and probably the next time um, I upload something uh, to to Instagram, maybe I'll upload the sketches, maybe then I'll, I will upload uh, me working on the iPad to digitize the um, whatever I'm creating. Maybe the next step will be creating some mockups because the, this could turn out into a poster. So it's just documenting that journey of that specific project, for example, of me learning to use the different the different tools and and probably just creating things that don't go anywhere. So creating things that just stay in my sketchbook, don't go anywhere. Probably some of them are not gonna see the <laughs> the light of the sun or however that expression is. But it's it's the journey and it's learning and it's improving and I think it's very important to also share it in a way that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, obviously I don't have the same following as, as they have or as they, uh, I think they have around 20k thousand, something like that. Um, so it's, obviously I'm not going to reach that many people but if I can help one person who, who watches this video and feels like, oh, you know, <clears throat> not everyone <laughs> designs something and the you know the final result appears like that which is which is you know something that people tend to think i don't know is um i think they also mentioned on the podcast episode that it's important for clients as well to see our process so when you are working with someone and this is something i'm learning now as well with a new client i have um you, you can educate them to not expect that the you're just gonna come up with the final result and that's it. You're gonna come up with ideas, you're gonna discuss it with them, they're gonna like some, they're not gonna like some. If you have a clear process and the process is good, then you'll probably uh, get to a, a good solution, so like the best solution possible, but it's, it's probably not gonna be the first one and there is gonna be a lot of trial and error. So yeah, I really like the the podcast episode. I really recommend anyone to listen to it. It was also very funny to to hear. And and as I said, I guess I haven't addressed what the different uh, the differences are with uh, documenting my journey with content creation. And I guess con for content creation, that's kind of what I was doing before these kind of videos. So I was coming coming up with an idea and writing a script, for example, in YouTube and writing a script of. I'm gonna talk about these three points on the video and I'm gonna organize the video like this and I'm gonna, you know, have mm, small titles for each of the sections and then I'm gonna have some graphics. So it was more like preparing the content. I guess that's why, I mean, I call it content creation. I think it's how it's called. Um, and the same goes for Instagram. So I'm gonna, you know, have this feed full of beautiful logos or beautiful um, designs and you are actually, which is something they mention as well, you are actually creating content to post on Instagram. So the difference is in journey documentation, or what I understand is you are putting out things that have been created as a result of you working for a client or working on a project. So it's not you are creating specifically this uh, designers, these sketches even, you're not creating them specifically for, you know, the platform for Instagram or whatever, but it's something, it's kind of a collateral, I guess, of 
another project we are working on. I don't know if that was very clear. Uh, I think in my head this is much more easy to understand for some reason. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you have any questions regarding this, uh, this topic, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help. And, and again, I'll put the, the link to the podcast below because it's really good. Uh, it's quite long, but I, I like going for our walks and, and listening to long podcasts anyway. So make sure to check it out and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.